just use Apple Notes as they say. And well, they might be right actually. Many of you might actually be underestimating Apple Notes, but trust me, this app is insane. Simplicity. This is the main aspect behind the success of Apple Notes, and it can actually be a Notion replacement as well. Let me explain. When we compare with Notion, there is a lot less friction in creating a new notes here in Apple Notes. For example, if you have an iPad, you can simply tap on the lock screen with your Apple Pencil, and it will allow you to take quick notes that easy. It is highly integrated with the Apple ecosystem. Like you might be aware of this feature if you are using a Mac. If you take your cursor to the bottom right corner, you can very easily open up the Quick Notes tab. Just like this Quick Notes feature, there are many aspects where Apple Notes simply takes the win. So don't miss this video, as in the end we'll be comparing Apple Notes with Notion. In case you are new over here, my name is Prithvi Raj, and I create videos about productivity, tech, and life. Please check the timestamps for faster navigation across this video. Let's start with the UI. This is one of the major reasons why people prefer using Apple Notes. It's that sweet and simple kind. Apple Notes has a really clean and minimal design. Apple has prioritized ease of access over everything else and I must say they have really nailed this aspect. This is how it looks on the iPhone. This is how it looks on the iPad and this is how it looks on the Mac. Super clean in all the devices. Navigating throughout the interface is simple for both beginners as well as experienced users. Ever since I read this book, Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte, I understood how much important it is to exactly manage our notes. We often collect our ideas and inspirations from various sources but we need one single trusted system to organize them. By organizing our information systematically, we can quickly access what we need without having to waste time looking across a lot of information which can be very overwhelming. The organizational system here in Apple Notes is very simple as I previously mentioned. Everything you need lies here on the left hand panel. Also you can create folders very easily to organize different aspects of your life. You can simply drag and drop folders like this to create subfolders, super easy. We also get the option of adding tags which can be super handy for quickly finding stuff. When you have a well organized system for storing resources and ideas, you can quickly access whatever you need. So if you take a look at all the folders that I've created, I have categorized them based on different aspects of my life. For example, I have this segment called content ideas. Here I simply store all the random video ideas that I get all of a sudden. This folder called in progress consists of all my ongoing projects and the things I have. And also I have a scripts archive. In case I needed to access any particular script from any of my past videos, I can very easily find them here. Also I have this admin folder for storing any important paperwork or any other legal information for example my tax file and they are not really fun when you lose them trust me i've been there so please take care of your tax files the second brain method of organizing all your data and information into one single place plays an important role in stress reduction apple has also added this thing called the smart folders these folders automatically organize your notes based on the tags or any specific criteria that you might have set now let us talk about the note creation and the text formatting options that we have it has rich text support you can make your text bold, italic, underline, or even struck through as you would do in Google Docs or MS Word. It's really easy to create bullet points and numbered list over here. It will understand that you're writing in bullet points and adjust that automatically. And on top of that, you can create checklists right inside this app as well. In case you wanted one single app to manage all your tasks, then you can pretty much do it from here. You can simply create a segment called to-do list and manage your tasks from there. We can even create segments inside and organize them based on any task management methods like the Eisenhower matrix where we basically organize our task based on its urgency. Hence, this is also known as the priority matrix. To be honest, this can really help you if you struggle to manage all your tasks. If you have an iPad and the Apple Pencil, you can take handwritten notes here as well. Or you can simply draw random cartoon characters. That can be fun. Most of the handwritten note-taking apps for the iPad are all paid. For example, GoodNote 6 and Notability. If you don't want to buy an app or get any subscription, then you can simply use Apple Notes to take handwritten notes. Using this, you can take your class notes or meeting notes here and then you can categorize them in their required folders. They also provide us with a lot of tools to work with. For example, you can choose from different pen options like the default pen, pencil, marker, and it also has the highlighter tool. But for some weird reason, we have this ruler. I don't know why, but it is there. So in case you needed a ruler for taking digital notes, then it is there. And the undo and the redo buttons are very conveniently placed. This app is also able to recognize your handwriting and make it searchable. So you can just type it out and it will search it out for you, even in your handwritten notes. If you are a student, then you can import the PDFs of your entire workbooks inside Apple Notes and take book notes directly inside your PDF. One thing that I really like that it offers this thumbnail view for your PDFs. This allows you to quickly navigate across your PDF without having to lose your mind with the number of pages you might have. Really helpful as this makes the 
navigation process a lot more faster and smoother as well. I have my daily planner template loaded up here in Apple Notes and I can quickly access it from there. Planning your day is such an important step if you want to stay productive and organized in real life as well. We are also able to take voice recordings into our notes as well. I mostly use this feature while writing the lyrics of my songs. I can like hmm, hum in the tune and it's really helpful. No, 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 no. Sing all, sing all the waves, man. If you wanted to do proper project management here in Apple Notes, then you can do that as well. You can create tables inside Apple Notes. For example, let me create my content planner table so that you get the idea. If you want, you can keep track of your recurring subscriptions and finance by creating table inside Apple Notes. And we can of course add media inside Apple Notes. You can simply drag and drop your photos, videos, links, maps, and even scan a document right inside a note. It's like a mini filing cabinet right inside your pockets. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you're enjoying this video. We'll help me out a lot. The search function inside Apple Notes is top notch. It can find through text, handwriting, attachments, or even your scanned documents. You can even spotlight search a specific note without having to open Apple Notes. For example, you quickly needed to access any information. You can simply press command plus spacebar on your MacBook to open up the spotlight search. And then you can simply type the content of your note and it will simply show up on your spotlight search. Super easy and helpful, I must say. If privacy is your concern, you can also lock your notes. If you have any notes that you would like to keep private, it, then you can keep them safe using a password, your face ID or even your touch ID. Also your notes are secured with end-to-end -end encryption so yeah don't need to worry about that. You can share notes with your friends or colleagues and edit them together in real time. Perfect for those group projects and planning events which eventually never happen. Alright so let's talk about the cons of Apple Notes. The biggest hindrance that I faced and many of you might face is that it's an Apple only software. It has no support for Windows or Android devices. You can access them from the web but the experience is really bad. Apple just wants you to buy an iPhone. It will work fluently if you're on the Apple ecosystem, but if you have a non-Apple device, then you're definitely gonna miss out. Let us do a quick comparison of Apple Notes with one of the most popular note-taking app, Notion. Apple Notes and Notion are pretty different than how they can help you get things done. Apple Notes is great for quick, simple note-taking and works perfectly with your Apple devices. Notion, on the other hand, is way more powerful and flexible. It's awesome for managing projects, creating databases, and working with teams. Notion offers a variety of ready-made templates that you can use for different stuff like project management, personal planners and stuff. Speaking of smoothness, Apple Notes is simply a much more faster app. And Notion can really feel slow at times because it offers so much more advanced stuff in comparison. But the most important differentiating factor is that Notion is available everywhere. Literally, Windows, iOS, macOS, Android, everywhere. And it just syncs in perfectly. If you want something straightforward, go with Apple Notes. It will help you get things done without any hassle. But in case you are looking for more advanced features and more customization options, then Notion is simply the way to go. All right, so this was about how we can organize our notes. But how do we organize our real life? It's really important we stay organized if we want to be more productive and achieve our goals. Click here on this video. And over there, we have discussed how one single app has helped me take control of my entire life. See you there.